Hello there! Once again, this is Anton from Anton Bay. Today I am joined by Hudson. As always, he's in the room as I'm doing some comic book videos. Um, I did a review on him once. Um, <laughs> it, it's pretty good. Um, anyway, I'm just going through more of the, uh, the big collection I just recently bought um, from a fellow collector in town who passed away. Purchased this from his brother. Um, I've gone through a lot of the, the like sets. I'm like, okay, this was all Spawn, this was all Hulk, this was all X-Men or whatever. This is kind of a box of some random stuff, and it's stuff that I'm not super familiar with or maybe super excited about. I am excited about Conan and Cable. Obviously, these are characters I know quite well. I got another issue of Cable 1. Uh, and this is actually from his miniseries, which took place beforehand. Um, cable number 9. Cable 11, cable number 16, alphabetically, he's got an issue of Cage in here, Cage number 1, he's got Daredevil number 300, Daredevil 321, I have so few Daredevil books, I mean these, I don't really know, I'm not, I'm not the guy, uh, 323, a little bit newer stuff, um, Amazing Spider-Man, American Sun, uh, three of four. Looks like one of four. Captain America Reborn, one of five. Yeah, this is this is way newer than I'm I'm used to. Um, he's got Superman the Wedding Album, which, uh, number one. I thought that was kind of neat. I haven't seen that before, really. Uh, Mighty Thor 17, this looks like the newer remake, or the second series. Issue number one, uh, I got issue number one of Predators, uh, based on the movie. That was actually, I really liked that movie. If you've never seen Predators, I do recommend it. Um, something from Dynamite, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Not terribly familiar with. Well, I'm familiar with the movie, I've never seen, never seen the comics before. Couple issues of, uh, I guess number five. This one's number three. Uh, Flash Gordon number two. <clears throat> it's just that this stuff is so much newer than me. A lot of it I'm I am really just unfamiliar with. Conan number two, the Frazada cover series. Super Dinosaurs number two. I like it for the name. Uh, GI Joe Snake Eyes. Uh, issue number three, looks like a Dark Horse Conan, number one, there's something I'm familiar with, Venom the Madness, number one, uh, Blackest Night, Director's Cut, uh, this would have probably been, I've had this book before, uh, it's probably my first introduction to Cerebus, and it was one of those things that they like, it's several issues of old issues of Cerebus put together and then like distributed. Kind of like uh, boost the sales or make it so that you know more know more about it, and that was it worked because that's probably how I how I originally found Cerebus. Um, Buster the Amazing, number two. I don't know what that is, but it looks like a giant squirrel or something. Oh nope, it's a bear. Buster the Amazing Bear. Never heard of it. And you know what? The fact that I can say that, I'm excited by that. I like it when I've never heard of it. Uh, Mighty Magnor, number two. I always enjoy some Mighty Magnor stuff. Uh, Masters of the Universe, number one. This looks like it's based on the uh, 2000X version. Uh, don't know what this is. Aspen Comics, World Worlds of Aspen. Oh, I guess it's just like a promo book for for a different comic company. Oh. Uh, Thunderstrike, number one. X-Men Unlimited, number one. I think I have quite a few of those. Uh, Gen 13, The Unreal World, number one. Chimichanga, number three. Uh, Marvelous Land of Oz. The art looks interesting. It's number one of eight. Hit Monkey, one of three. Um, Ultimates 3, issue number 3. 
I like I like the dinosaur cover. I'll give it a bonus bonus for that. Um, Punisher 16 Frankencastle. I have heard something about this. I don't know a lot about it. And that's the deal. When you get these large collections like this, these are books that if I'd have seen them on a, in a bin, I probably wouldn't have grabbed them. I just don't know about them. I would be looking for older Marvel or something like that. So you get books that you didn't, you don't have this like huge investment in emotionally and you just wind up with them and they are what they are. And you know, if some of these are, are great or valuable, let me know because you know I've got boxes of this stuff and I gotta figure out what to do with it or how to file it anyway. Of course I'm gonna slowly read my way through it. Um Los Fantas Los Four Fantastico. This looks like this looks like an uh Spanish. Well, obviously it looks like Spanish. Now I gotta open it. Now I gotta see if it's Spanish all the way through. It totally is. Okay, we live, I live right here, about 96 miles from the border. And I have come across several, uh, like Spanish and uh, Mexican made comic books. And they're cool. I, I think they're awesome. When I come across them, you're just like, oh wait, that's a, ooh, that's one from, you know, that's one from Mexico different publishing style, different a lot of stuff style. And they're nice to come across. Um, Brightest Day, Green Arrow number four. Ultimates three, issue number two. Origins of Siege number one, I guess. I don't know anything about it. Siege the Cabal number one. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm at a total loss for that. I recognize this, West Coast Avengers 42. There's there's a comic I know. I don't I know nothing about that newer stuff. I I got out of comics and then I got back into comics, but I, I went back in time. I didn't move forward in time. New stuff just hasn't appealed to me. Um, Death of Dracula, Heroic Age. Um Really? Namor the first mutant? I didn't think that he was the first mutant. Another issue of Chimichanga. This looks like a comic I recognize. Superman 702. Uh, Darkwing Duck, free comic book day. New Mutants Special Edition, number one. So is that New Mutants number one or is it Special Edition number one? I'll have to look in it, I'll have to figure that out. Um, X-Force number one, this is still sealed. It's in a plastic comic book bag but it's also still sealed still sealed inside the uh, the little collector sleeve that they mailed those things out in or shipped them out in or sold them out in um, Arkham Reborn number two Captain America Reborn three of five <clears throat> Red Robin number 11 uh, Green Arrow number three brightest day I'm getting a little deep up here. I'm gonna pull them down. Just to give me some more room. Try not to whack the camera. So we got Time Masters number one. Vanishing point. I've got Spin Angels number one of three. Oh, I did whack the camera. Hold on. There we go. Um, Psylocke. Three or four. Enemy number, ultimate enemy number two, I guess. I see there, there's a bunch of books like this in here. I do not know what the deal is with them. Is this, I, I have no idea what the deal is with them. Ultimate X, so is it like an ultimate story arc that's running through everything? I don't know. I gotta figure it out. I just saw that there's a big pile of them here. So I'm not, I've got a chill cover. Yeah, I'm not familiar with what's going on with these or, you know, what... Ultimate X issue number one. Ultimate X issue number one. Not sure what's going on with those, but I'm sure somebody out there knows and they'll probably say something. Otherwise, I'll get to it eventually. Red Robin number six. I also see there's quite a few Red Robins in here. Also don't know what the deal is with that, but I kind of like that suit design. It's kind of got a... 
I don't know, like a 40s superhero feel to it. I could see that guy on the uh, uh, Watchmen. Looks like a Watchmen character. Um, FVZA, Federal Vampire and Zombie Agency. Number one of three. Hell's Pass, number three. Carnage, one of five. Dakin, Dark Wolverine, number one. Wolverine goes to hell, I guess. Psylocke, number four of four. X Babies, one of four. God, I hated the X Babies. That was that's the true villainy of Mojo was the damn X Babies. Uh, Doom War, one of six. Doom War, two of six. One another, one of six. Red Robin, issue one. And like I've said, um, this guy seemed that that had this collection seemed to be kind of a speculator buyer. He bought a lot of first issues, and anything that he thought was going to be worth something, he would usually pick up a couple. So I've got like a lot of number ones. I don't always understand. So I've got new Ultimate Thor. Ultimate Thor number one. X Men vs. Agents of Atlas number one. Claws vs. Paws. Secret Warriors number one. Do more six of six. There's probably a whole set of do more in here. Uh, World War Hulk twenty three. Siege number three. Siege three of four. Another one. Uh, another Punisher Frankencastle. No, or no, Punisher thirteen. Frankencastle. Yeah, I, I heard about the character Frankencastle. I don't know where, what its first appearance was, but. I don't know, it's interesting, so. Siege 1, Siege 2, Siege 1, Fat Ran and Robin, number 1, The Boy Wonder. Looks like some sort of comic flyer from a store. And there's like a little pack of them. Huh, that's kind of cool. Uh, Brightest Day Zero, Captain America Reborn. Got some stuff I do kind of recognize. Not my favorite stuff though, not at all. Um, I do not hate Rob Liefeld. I actually really like some of his work. I really like his later work on um, Evangeline series that came out, uh, you know, years and years later, the much later stuff. But oh my gosh, him drawing Captain America was just not good. I don't like it at all. I think it's terrible. Just look at it. Look at it. It's stupid looking. His his art works on some stuff. You want to draw cable this way? I get it. I just did not like the way he drew Captain America. I recognize this cover. I don't remember why. But anyway, I remember it. Um, anyway, this is I think this is Heroes Reborn stuff. And it looks like I got a pretty good lot of it. See, cable looks totally like a Liefeld character. I think it is, actually is. Then you get into this, this, look at it. Look at how wrong it looks. Anyway, that, that's my only, my only thing against uh, Rob Liefeld is his work on Captain America. I just did not like it. It does look like he does start to like tone it down and calm down, like issue eight. These don't look near as bad. Um, oh, that's probably because it's not Rob Liefeld anymore. Perfect. Uh, Catch America number nine. Ten. Eleven. Issue twelve. Got a pretty good run of this. Thirteen. Um, Avengers. More Liefeld. Avengers number one. And it's. I, I want to say this is like volume two of Avengers, but I can't. I can't really remember. There's issue three. All right, I, I am not really, I'm not mad at that. If Rob Liefeld wants to draw the Hulk, I'm okay with that. It's okay. Um, he also does thing really well. Let's face it, he does a large, big thing very well. Um, Avengers number seven. 
Number eight, tilt the camera. It's got Avengers number nine, number 10, 11, 12, issue 13. Ooh, Amazon number one. I've been wanting to like get the the whole first wave of Amalgam titles. So seeing these in there, that's good. And the name Shatter Starfire is awesome. I've always loved that. Magneto and the Magnet Men. Bongo Comics Free For All. Um, the Heroic Age, The New Avengers 3. Something called Original Sin, one of eight. Heroes Reborn, one of four. Marvel Zombies, three of five. Nice, disgusting looking thing going on there. Um, Superman. Uh, say the, I can't even find a, a title on there. It looks like number one, whatever it is. Conan the Barbarian, number three. X-Men Legacy. It's a cool cover, I'm not sure who that is. Dark Avengers number eight, Utopia, America's Son, Spider-Man, uh, two of four, X Nation, four of four, Exodus, I don't see a number, ah, uh, and something I recognize, Avengers West Coast 56, Avengers West Coast 57, issue 50, issue 49, Issue 48. Now see, this gets me, because Avengers West Coast is kind of known for being awful. It's not very good. It wasn't a very good Avengers series. I'm going to move my camera. But I am more excited to see these in here than a lot of those titles, just because, you know what? I get this. I get it. It's pretty decent stuff. This is my favorite one, because this is uh, the Great Lakes Avengers. They really suck. Mr. Immortal, all he does is die and then, like, come back. And he's just flat. He's like the flat man. And a couple issues of Alpha Flight 74 and 75. Let's see. You know what? That's probably that's probably all I got there. Anyway, I've got a bunch more boxes of this stuff. I'm going to end it on this Alpha Flight note because I do love Alpha Flight. Um, like I said, these are comics that, you know, I they're just, they came with a lot. So some of them I'm excited about. Some of them I don't know about. Obviously, the newer stuff is a total loss to me. But anyway, that's my story. Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.